This world is just too small. Who's there? This is... Why are you in my heart? Yeah. That was my light. But my heart is fractured. And now... The little I have left is slipping away. Huh? Keyblade.
meteor shower. Can't see much from here. Oh, I've got time to spare. Piece of me too. Win. Ha! Wait, what am I messing around here for? I'm gonna miss the meteor shower. Why does it seem so familiar? Hmm. 
Break, Aqua. Then, you hopeless sleepyhead. You know, you should have at least brought a blanket. But did I dream that place up? It really felt like I'd been there before, looking up at the stars. <laughs> Except you've always lived here with us. Yeah. I know. Hey, Aqua. Hmm? You ever wonder what stars are? Where light comes from? Hmm. Well, they say... That every star up there is another world. Huh? Oh. Terra. Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, Ven. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now. You're too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Tara, you and I have our Mark of Mastery exams tomorrow. I made us good luck charms. Uh, whoa. Here. I get one too? Of course. One for each of us. Yeah. Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star-shaped fruit. And the fruit represents an unbreakable connection. So as long as you and your friends carry good luck charms shaped like it, nothing can ever drive you apart. You will always find your way back to each other. Technically, I think you're supposed to make them with seashells. <laughs> but I did the best with what I had. Oi, sometimes you are such a girl. Hey, what do you mean sometimes? So this isn't a real good luck charm? Well... That's yet to be seen. But I did work a little magic on it. Really? What? <laughs> An unbreakable connection. Well, tomorrow's the exam. Anybody want to spar? I can take you. Looks fine if you're fighting one on one, but you need to know how to handle a crowd, too. Yeah. 
Okay, let's wrap this up. Trust me, you guys are ready. You're gonna clean up at the exam tomorrow. I hope it's that easy. It's like the master said, power is born within the heart. When the time is right, you just need to look inside yourself and you'll find it there. You don't want to lose track of stuff that's happened. We're gonna head back. Yeah, me too. Together. Always. That, that would be, be the last night, night we ever spent beneath, beneath the same stars. Mickey, I cannot shake the feeling something terrible is about to transpire. Today you will be examined. 
for the mark of mastery. Not one, but two of the Keyblades chosen stand here as candidates. But this is neither a competition nor a battle for supremacy. Not a test of wills, but a test of heart. Both of you may prevail, or neither. But I am sure our guest, Master Xehanort, did not travel all this way to see our youngest prospects in years fall short of the mark. I trust you are ready. Yes. yes. Then let the examination begin. about me. You two focus on the exam. But Ven, you're in danger here. Go wait in your room. No way. I've been looking forward to this. Seeing you two become masters. I'm not gonna miss it now. He could take care of himself. He's been out there training just as hard as us. Yeah. Stay sharp, Ven. That was unexpected. But one must keep a still heart even in the most trying of circumstances. It was an excellent test, one I chose to let unfold. Which brings us to your next trial. Now, Terra and Aqua, the two of you will face each other in combat. Remember, there are no winners, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Begin! We have deliberated and reached a decision. Terra, Aqua, you both performed commendably. However, only Aqua has shown the mark of mastery. Terra, you fail to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. But there is always next time. That is all. Aqua, as our newest Keyblade Master, you are entitled to certain knowledge. Please wait here for further instruction. Hey. Tara, I'm sorry. The darkness, where did it come from?
What do you make of Ventus? He ain't gonna cut it. Somebody's gotta break that loser in. Not here, you won't. I have to keep up appearances. I know that. He just needs a little incentive to leave home. <sighs> Sorry. But I need some time alone. <sighs> and in so much as you are now Keyblade Master, you must always be conscious of... What is that? What happened? I don't know. Why isn't Ven here? Very well then. I will send my pupils to investigate. Yes. I understand. Farewell. That was my dear old friend Yen Sid. As you know, he is master no more, but he still keeps a close eye on the tides of light and darkness. His counsel serves as signposts on the road we wielders of the Keyblade must walk. All the more reason then for concern, for he tells me the princesses of heart are in danger. Not only from the forces of darkness, as you may assume, but also from a new threat. One that feeds on negativity. Fledgling emotions that have taken monster form. Yen Sid calls them the Unburst. As wielders of the Keyblade, you are tasked with striking down any who would upset the balance of light and darkness. The Unversed are no exception. I tried to pass this news on to Master Xehanort, but my repeated attempts to reach him have failed. I doubt there is any connection, and yet, this all troubles me. Master Xehanort is gone? So here we are. I need you two to get this situation under control. Eliminate the Unversed, and find Master Xehanort. I have unlocked the lanes between. May use these forbidden pathways to travel between this world and countless others. The darkness looms closer than usual within these spaces, but your armor will protect you. Lastly, remember that order must be kept. You cannot tell anyone there are other worlds. Now go and fulfill your duty. Yes, yes master. master. Terra. Consider this an opportunity, a second chance for you to change my mind. What? You must know, I care for you like my own son. If I could have my way, I would name you master in a second. But how can I, when you are so obsessed with power? Terra. You mustn't be afraid of losing. Fear leads to obsession with power, and obsession beckons the darkness. You must never forget. Thank you, Master. I swear, I will not fail you again. Oh. Master, I best be on my way. Wait, Aqua. Before you depart, I have one other, well, call it a request, of the utmost priority. Yes? I told Terra this could be a second chance to show the mark of mastery, and I meant it. However, that flicker of darkness he displayed during the examination, I can sense it runs very deep. If he were to... If those powers were to prove too much for him to handle, I want you to bring him back to me at once. It's for his own good. He could not bear to lose any of you to the darkness. Of course, 
I would never let that happen. I promise you I will bring Terra back. Only this time, you'll see he has what it takes to be a master. He's not as weak as you think. Yeah. Wait, Ben! No, he mustn't. You have to bring him back. Don't worry, Master.
Mademoiselle! Senorita! Wait! Hmm? Aqua! Tara! Tara, Ven ran away from home. What? I think he left to go find you. Do you have any idea why? No. Actually, just before I left, he tried to tell me something. I should have listened to what he had to say. Oh. So, did you manage to locate Master Zaynort? No, but it seems he's looking for pure hearts filled with light. Pure hearts filled with light? All I can tell you is that his search hasn't taken him here. All right. I'll stay and see if I can find more clues. Okay. The prince is in the ballroom ahead. He might have some answers. Thanks. Aqua. Hmm? You still have the same dream? Well, yes. There's this girl here. Her name is Cinderella. She made me realize how powerful it is just to believe. No matter how impossible things seem, a powerful enough dream will always be enough to light the darkness. Mm. If you see her, give her my thanks. Will do. He'll be all right. He won't give in to it. Who are those ladies? Oh, if I recall correctly, that is Lady Tremaine, and those are her daughters. There was something very wrong about them. You came back. 
Huh? Oh, my apologies. I was mistaken. <laughs> Your Highness, I found this on the palace stairs. A glass slipper. One dropped by a lovely young lady, and I'll search far and wide to find the maiden to whom this belongs. You will? Of course, Your Highness. After all, you finally found someone whom you wish to marry. Upon hearing that happy news, your father, the king, has decreed that a quest shall begin immediately throughout the kingdom. And I will start with the closest residence, that of Lady Tremaine. Lady Tremaine. I had better pay her a visit. Yeah! 
Yeah! 
on. Honor our humble home, my lord. <clears throat> Quite so. May I present my daughters, Grisella and Anastasia? As I feared, there is darkness here. Wait! Uh, it's dangerous to fight the darkness with light, my dear. Who are you? Cinderella's fairy godmother. I appear to those who believe the dreams come true. Then I'm honored. But why would you advise me not to fight darkness with light? Strong rays of sun create dark shadows. Sadly, Lady Tremaine and both her daughters are jealous of Cinderella's charm and beauty. Qualities that appear to you as light. Jealousy is darkness. Light and dark go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. Then, what should I do? It's quite simple, dear. One of Cinderella's friends is trying very hard to keep her light from fading. I want you to join Little Jack and help him. I can do that. You'll need a bit of my magic to help, Jack. <laughs> Come back and see me when you're ready. Are you okay? Linda Valley, step muddy like a rinna rum. Gotta let her out. Gotta save Linda Valley. Oh. 
Let me help you. Ah, yuck, yuck. Oh, that's not like Ben fans. Do you ever meet a Ben? Uh, I'm Aqua. But tell me how you know about Ben. Us a friend, good friend. Ben Ben help a jock fix a flinder belly to less. And where is he now? Look up a friend, other friend. I see. Then, you must have just missed Terra. I can't understand why. It always fit perfectly before. Quite enough of this. The next young lady, please. Oh no, hear that? Don't worry, Flinder really gotta try that flipper. Come on, come on, Flurry! All right, leave this to me. Jack, don't lose that key. Huh, yeah, take that. Yeah, yeah. Come on. You're the only ladies here? There's no one else, Your Grace. Come on, hurry, Jack. All right, if I tried on the glass slipper? Hmm. I met you at the palace. Unfortunately, you are not the young lady the prince is looking for. But I am a girl. I should at least be given a chance to try it on. Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? She's probably here to rob us. Mother, do something! That girl does not live here. I have only two daughters. I believe we're finished here, Your Grace. Regardless, she means no harm. Here you are, my dear. Jack, hurry. Your Grace, please wait. May I try it on? Pay no attention to her. She's just an imaginative child. Madam, my orders were every maiden. You should let her go first. Thank you. I actually want to thank you for teaching Tara he needs to keep believing. Oh. <laughs> 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 
What will I do? Please, don't worry. You see, I have the other slipper. I must inform the prince immediately. You will come with me, of course. I'd be happy to. It's not fair! She's a scullery maid! Mother! Are you just going to let them leave? No. Cinderella will be put in her place. What happened? Where is Cinderella? She was attacked by a, a creature, a, a monster in the forest. A monster? This is what happens when you go against my wishes. The darkness in their hearts overtook them. Go. Yeah! 
pure heart filled with light? It's strange. The master taught me darkness needs to be destroyed. But how, if not with light? Oh, my dear, you're too young to know. Experience more things, and you'll find the answer. Just trust in your dreams. <laughs>